So the stock market is uh, a little bit bumpy, but Nigeria's bond is sweet. Let's bring out Yudiji Ebo here, who is the CEO at Africa Securities to a team of today's a team of uh, conversations and analysis, analysis here on the show for the next one hour. Good morning. It's good to have you. Yeah, good morning. Good. Let's start with inflation. That's the big story. Five years. Uh, that's towards the closing time today. What's your take? Yes, uh, forecast 11.5%. Uh, we expect it to also moderate, but in terms of um, the base effect, it's, we've discovered that that is thinning out. And before the end of Q3, we expect a, a, a reversal to the upward trend um, levels. So we, we see, we expect that food inflation would also remain high. Um, we, based on the um, planting season where we, we still uh, and um, that would not um, that would help uh, moderate that base effect that we're supposed to see in the inflation rate. And let's get let's get to uh, the stocks are bumpy. Yes, uh, yes, uh, yeah. uh, but, but the bonds, the nail bonds seem to be shining. Yes, in, interestingly, we saw the sell-offs in the last um, in the last two weeks with uh, across emerging markets. So it wasn't peculiar only to Nigeria, and that um, made some of the bonds. Um, but most of them were very attractive. Yields improved from the levels of about 12 percent to to close to 13 for, um, 13 percent um, levels. Mm -hmm. And as a result, for uh, for investors, that presents an um, attractive opportunity. When you compare it to the short-term instrument treasury bills market, which um, which is less than um, I think around 11 around 11 percent levels, um, close to 12 percent levels, um, would see that uh, investors that may want to lock in that uh, in anticipation of a further drop in interest rates may want to take position. Uh, in, uh, in yields, uh, when you see in terms of yield to maturity or some of those bonds uh, look, still look very, very attractive. And you have some bonds that not really, you have the two-year bond that uh, in terms of time to uh, maturity that uh, you people can also, uh, investors can also take advantage of. Liquidity is very tight at the fixed end, uh, the fixed income end of the market. Central Bank gives this uh, regular uh, treasuries, uh, open market operations, mop up. Uh, so where is this fresh liquidity coming into the stock market? Is it the same hedge, hedge funds, uh, folks, that left us with a, a bitter taste of almost a trillion naira in our mouth? No, I feel we've seen increase in participation from even the uh, pension fund administrators. We've seen uh, and we discover when you look at what happened in the market last two weeks, uh, market loss for over uh, for close to 14 days before we saw the rebound. So that presented entry opportunities for some investors, especially even the uh, institutional investors that uh, were uh, that missed out of the initial rally. And looking at the price in terms of multiples, we saw some improvement in in terms of multiple as a result of the drop in in the share prices. So we've seen increased volume, we've seen large trades be crossing on the floor. Dangote Sugar yesterday, about um, 50 million crossed in the market at 21 Naira. you see some major investors just taking position in some of those stocks that believe are strong fundamentals. Mm -hmm. And we've seen some form of um, um, thinning out on speculations. There are some, some stocks that are still just gaining based on speculation, but compared to what we experienced in the first quarter, that most of those stocks that you've not even seen their result in the last two years were on just on the gaining streak. So most people are doing, based on analysis, expectation of results, um, upside potential, seeing, taking major trades, uh, major um, stake in some of these companies. Where is this uh, consumer goods rally coming from? Uh, you mentioned Dangote Sugar, then I can add Cadbury, I can add Nestle, I can add Honeywell, Flour. It looks like all, almost all the big names in that space within that sector seem to have maintained this trajectory. Yes, uh, you look at, when you look at the year-to-date performances of most of these stocks that you have mentioned, 
it's not been very attractive, yeah, less than when you take an average, maybe less than 15%. Some are even losing year to date in terms of performance because of the profit taking that we saw in the last two weeks. Most of these foreign investors also placed significantly in the likes of Nestle, Nigerian breweries, and co. So taking profit, trying to reduce the exposure to emerging markets, that um, reduced in terms of the capital appreciation, so reverse the gains that, um, that have been accumulated in the first quarter to the second half of the year. So we, what we're seeing, we expect that as we progress, uh, we, there are still major potential in terms of the fundamentals for these companies. Though we saw sales across most of the consumer goods space <clears throat> um, reduced because uh, in terms of the volume that they, they sold reduced. And on a year-on-year -year basis, uh, the prices were increased in Uganda last year, and they couldn't do that again this year. And as a result of that, that affected their Q1 result. But with the improvement that we expect to see in the, in the economy, purchasing power is supposed to also improve. And we should see um, that driving volume in the second half, in the second half of the year. What, what's the big story with industrial goods? Yes, the cement industry, we know with if the implementation of the budget is also expected to drive that. Um, cement is key. It's still a developing economy. So even our housing deficit, when you look at even that space, you need that for construction of, uh, of, um, of the houses. Also, uh, we know some there, within that space, we're also trying to test how you can also use cement in, to construct roads. So that, and as a result, <clears throat> that would open and increase the demand for the product, for their products within that space, we've seen Dangote Cement mm -hmm. that still dominates that space, and uh, we'll continue to see how uh, Dangote Cement would across African um, countries to export, even from Nigeria, as we progress. Is this is this a bull rally or a bear trap? It's um, I would it's in between the two uh, because uh, <clears throat> we we'll would see that. The rally, we also see some moderation that we expect. Um, people are anticipating as a result of the new policy, the multi-level policy of the pension industry, which will take effect effectively at the end of the year. But we don't expect the PENCOM, uh, the PFAs to wait the end of the year. That is also expected to drive uh, performances in, within the equities market. Okay, 30 seconds. Should I watch the U.S. Fed? Should I watch FX? Should I watch inflation? What is most important for the rest of the week? I think the U.S. Fed is most important. And that's today? Yes. Later today. We're going to watch all of that. Thank you very much, Ayodhi Jebo, who is the CEO at Afrinvest Securities, the U.S. Fed interest rate decision today. Uh, keep that on your uh, calendar, uh, well, your time uh, for the rest of the day. Let's talk about the new FMDQ clearing infrastructure. Cody Ugoji, who is an associate executive director at FMDQ OTC Securities Exchange, is live here in the studios after the break. You're watching Business Morning. Mm -hmm.